We are Tommy and Peter, and we are spending a week exploring the diverse landscapes of Gran Canaria. While much of the island is known for its dry, desert-like terrain, today we are venturing into a different world. Here, dense greenery blankets the landscape, the sky is covered with clouds and little streams rush through the forest. It is as if we've been transported to a tropical jungle, a stark contrast to the sun-baked vistas of the south. But first, we need to make a stop at this interesting spot that is along the way. It has become quite popular in recent years, which kinda lessens the beauty, but it is worth seeing anyway. Today, the weather is not very great. We are on the eastern and we are going to the northern side of the island. And there, the weather is always, not always, but often cloudy. It's drizzling a little bit. So we are going to embrace the elements today. And the first stop is here in this Barranco. It should look interesting. The downside is that it is very popular. So there are a lot of people. It's right by the road. So you don't have to hike. It's very here. That's why a lot of people so we'll see, but it should look interesting, so let us see that. We are inside the Barranco, we can see these beautiful rock formations around us and I think this is basically it, you don't really walk in here for kilometers, mm -hmm. you just come here, you see it, you take a picture and you can go back. Okay. <laughs> so let's go, go check it out. Yes. Further. It's getting narrower. Uh huh, yes, this looks cool. So this is it then. <laughs> okay, this is it. <laughs> The end? Oh wow! <laughs> this really is the end. We went all the way through the whole barrel. Uh -huh. Touch it, touch the wall, touch the end. <laughs> I can't go any further. Yay! For that way? No. You are not a mountain goat. It looks a little bit like a slot canyon in the US somewhere. It's very short, but nevertheless quite interesting. The formations are very interesting and different to what we are used to. The name is Barranco de las Vacas, which means Ravine of the Cows. It is said to originate from the past grazing activities of cattle in the area. We didn't see any, so we can't confirm anything. This canyon has become Instagram famous in the recent years. It wasn't very well known at all before, but then it got popular. We are not helping either in this matter because we are showing it. And then more and more people come here because it looks interesting and different. We are now by the Caldera de Bandama, hopefully I said that correctly, and it's wow, like I can't from this, it's amazing, so stunning, gorgeous, big, and we are planning to walk on the rim, so we will make a loop, we will walk around the whole caldera. All and the way. Yeah all the way and that should be amazing so we are looking forward to that it should be about three to four kilometers something like that so not too much not too much and it's very windy 
so not the best conditions but that's how it is so let's embrace this and let's go bit less windy so we decided we are going to tell you something because otherwise you can't hear anything and there is not much to tell <laughs> it's just that it is a big hole in the ground basically and it should be possible to hike down there as well there are some roads there or paths mm -hmm. but we're not gonna do that right no the landscape here is very dramatic it's greener on this side of the island and there are mountains and the clouds are running across the sky. What are they doing? Rolling or something? Flowing. Flowing. Okay, the clouds are flowing and it's interesting that there is nobody here uh -huh. because it's a hike. But it was quite popular on the internet, right? I thought so. I thought it had a lot of reviews on Google Maps. So yeah. that's why I assumed we would meet a lot of people here. Yeah, but there is nobody. It's just us. So <laughs> that's great. We like it and we will continue. Wow, the sky behind you is so... Like a thunderstorm is coming. Looks like it's raining in the mountains. Right? Yes, it's raining, but there are no thunderstorms. So it's, it wouldn't be great here either if we would be caught in a thunderstorm. Yeah. It looks like we are somewhere in the middle of the trail. Mm -hmm. So we started somewhere on the other side. It goes quite quickly, it's not very long. <laughs> Where are you going? I don't know, you didn't tell me. It looks so good. Wow. Hmm. Hopefully the camera does it justice. In case it doesn't, you should believe us. It looks very majestic. Yeah, even Tommy is in awe all the time. Exactly. <laughs> Looks like we have views on the other side as well. Uh-huh. The falls and all the cities and tourist resorts. Yeah, and it looks amazing. Wow. The views are so beautiful. Wow. Especially when it's sunny for a bit at least. Yes. Today the weather is very changeable. I was telling Peter today's weather is like his emotions. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. So we are on a swing, me and the weather. <laughs> wow, it looks so good. Oh my god. Caldera de Bandama is a volcanic crater. It was formed by a series of volcanic eruptions thousands of years ago. The crater measures about 1 km or 0.6 miles in diameter and is around 200 meters or 650 feet deep. We are now three quarters there and all of a sudden there is no wind in this little corner surrounded by shrubs and it's warm all of a sudden and so pleasant finally it's quieter and peaceful You can see the whole thing, the whole island actually, is volcanic. 
Uh, you can see black rocks and black sand everywhere. So that's the proof. And I'm sure Peter will tell you all about what caldera actually is. I will, or I already will have, or something like that in the voiceover. It's over probably already. Uh, okay. <laughs> so our viewers know everything by now. We arrived at our next destination, which is Barranco de los Nicalos. So it's another valley or something where we want to hike. It should be lush. It's very green here and wet. It looks like it rains here often. There's Santa Claus over there. <laughs> so yeah, it should be a few kilometers. The hike starts here. So we are going into the lush greenery and we know why it's so lush because it's raining <laughs> so this is proof that it rains here more than for example on the south side of the island where it's drier so i don't know it feels adventurous again with <laughs> the rain we wanted to have a little picnic with croissants and everything but we we sat down and immediately, in like two seconds, it started raining. So the elements are against us. So we are just going to see the greenery and everything. And then hopefully we'll find time to eat because I'm hungry. And I was looking forward to croissants. So, and now it's kind of stopping the rain. It's, it's- On and off all day, right? Yes, okay, so let's continue and then we'll see. Come on! It stopped raining, yay! And it's so pleasant here. The scent of flowers is very strong and very pleasant and amazing. Maybe this is where we could eat. Wow, this is designed for us. <laughs> wow, okay, I agree. We will put the raincoats under us so we are not wet our this. <laughs> and let's eat. It's a chocolate one, chocolate croissant. Mm. Yes, guys, I was waiting for this the whole day. And all of a sudden we are walking by this water channel. This brings back memories from last year when we were on the island of Tenerife. There were magnificent hikes along water channels. But this one, the water is flowing. They were mostly dry there or, you know, this one is in a good condition, I mm -hmm. would say. So, yay. What does that mean? Cold. Cold, okay. Wow, this is like a portal to another realm. <laughs> so we are entering fairy tales now. Okay. 
love it here. It's so picturesque. Oh my god. I love these stone walls and the water channel. Water is rushing through it. Wow. And the surroundings. Like we are suddenly in a jungle or something. Yes. Look at this green tunnel. I wouldn't expect this on Gran Canaria. Right? Right. It's so different. I wouldn't, definitely. It's so narrow. Looks <laughs> fun. Yeah, wow. Totally green tunnel. This is totally our kind of environment, I would say. I'm so happy and I'm like squeaking all the time. I can confirm. <laughs> From the beauty, yay. I love greenery, I love lush places, little creeks and the water is singing and ah, amazing. I feel like this is uh, Peter's favorite place in Gran Canaria so far. So far, definitely, <laughs> yeah, this has been such a great surprise. <laughs> so what do we have here? We have a waterfall here, it's kinda muddy and slimy, so people, when you are here, you have to be careful. Not like Peter. I recommend being careful. <laughs> and this is Cascada Pequeña. Okay, and it looks amazing. So I guess this is Cascada Pequeña, because we walked about 10 meters from the previous waterfall. <laughs> and this one is absolutely beautiful. I will try the water. Ah! And all of a sudden there is a dark tunnel. Look here. I can't see anything. Even with the torch on my phone. Just darkness. We are not going there. Not this time. No, not this time. This tunnel is not like walk through, I think. It's not on the map. So this is a no-no. But it's so interesting. I like it. I feel like in a fantasy game <laughs> and there are all these waterfalls, tunnels, greenery. I don't know. Amazing. It's so dark here, right? Yeah, where are you? <laughs> it feels like the evening is coming. Because it is. It is, but slowly. So, it... The sun is setting in less than one hour, guys. And we are still heading home that way. We are not returning. <laughs> yes, that's us. We are upgrading from wooden bridges to stone bridges. Wow. Mm -hmm. And this one is holding very well. Here's another waterfall! 
Oh, it's the third one already. It's getting late, so we have to return, and we are returning now, sadly. But that's life. We love it here so much, especially me. But Tommy likes it too, right? We wanted to continue because there are more waterfalls along the trail. Yeah. But it wasn't meant to be. Mm. Someone wanted to sleep in. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I can blame myself. But I was saying that this is so often the case when there is something like my favorite, we don't have enough time. And for other things, there is always time. Mm. Okay, so yeah, we can't stay here because we would be lost here in the darkness. The sun is setting soon and we don't want to be in the news. Like <laughs> two guys found dead in this lush barranco. Barranco. You can always come back, guys. <laughs> yes, we can. So we'll see. Oh my god, I can again smell the amazing herby flowery scent. Yeah. Wow. As you could see, Barranco de los Cernicalos is a very scenic ravine. It goes further for many more kilometers and there are more cascades and waterfalls surrounded by steep cliffs. The name Cernicalos refers to the kestrels. Kestrel is a type of small falcon that inhabits the area. We're back to our car just in time before it gets dark. The lights are already on, so that means it's time for us to leave. Yeah, let's go.